Hi, this is Jim from Faber Industrial Technologies. Today we're going to show you the proper way to install a model RTPC heat trace power connection kit. Here is the Chromalox RTPC power connection kit. This is the point in the circuit where the heat trace comes in the box and is connected to the power wiring that comes through the conduit hub. The heat trace cable is taped along one foot intervals using fiberglass tape. Make sure to provide some slack or a service loop to allow repair to the heat trace cable or if the power connection needs to be moved. Find the appropriate hole which matches up with the base of the box. For a single cable application, you'll use the hole shown which equates to the corresponding knockout. First feed the cable through the hole on the base and secure the base onto the pipe using a metal pipe strap. Fasten the pipe strap using a screwdriver. As shown, pop out the corresponding knockout on the box. Slide the grommet onto the cable and down to the base, creating a weather-tight seal. You can now feed the cable through the knockout hole on the box. Take your longer screws and use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the box onto the base. Secure the service loop onto the pipe using fiberglass tape. Make sure not to exceed the bend radius of the cable and have a gentle curve as shown. You should have about 8 inches of cable at this point. Use a utility knife to make a slight incision to peel back the outer jacket. Make sure not to cut into the ground braid. Trim off the peeled portion of the jacket. Pull the ground braid about three to four inches back. Trim off about two and a half inches of cable. Pull the ground braid back and work the inner portion of the cable out of it as shown. Twist the ground braid to allow an easy connection to the terminal block.
expose the bus wires on the cable to allow them to be inserted into the terminal block. Trim off the excess jacket on the cable. Here the bus wires are exposed and the ground braid is tied off neatly to the side, away from the bus wires and black polymer. Any touching of the ground braid to the polymer or bus wires will create a ground fault. Land your connections of the bus wires and the ground braid to the terminal block as shown. You can feed your power wiring through the conduit hub and land them into the other side of the terminal block. Now that you have landed your connections to the terminal block, secure the terminal block using the screw shown into one of the two holes on the surface of the box with a screwdriver. Place the supplied gasket on the cover of the power kit. Place cover on the power kit and insert four screws as shown. Tighten the screws into the kit. You have completed the installation of the RTPC power connection kit. For more info and support, please feel free to contact us regarding your application.